Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell Marketing. Today the topic is the two most important factors in your regenerative medicine marketing approach. So regenerative medicine marketing is different than your insurance-based medical practice. The reason is that the primary thing that you need to have in place is a sales conversion that is second to none. Because you don't really have to sell so much when it's based on insurance. You might have to say, well, we can get you in faster than the competition or you know, so on and so forth. Number one factor when it comes to regenerative medicine marketing is how good is your sales conversion approach? Well, why do I say that? Because when you have an insurance-based practice, for instance, you're not as focused on converting the sale because you just match up with their insurance. Okay, do you take Blue Cross? Yeah, we take Blue Cross. Can you get me in quickly? Yeah, we can get you in quickly. Yeah, that might be the extent of the sale, right? Now, in a regenerative medicine approach, these procedures cost a few thousand dollars. So it's important to that prospect that you not only act professionally, compassionately, and make the sales experience all about them, but that you have a script in place that doesn't sound like a script. That's what sales conversion is all about. Be doing sales and have a script, but they don't even know it, okay? It just becomes a natural progression of the conversation so that they end up scheduling and coming in. You know, we, try, we tend to teach the consultative approach, and we have people who do role-playing with the practice, and the people who are going to be doing the sales conversion, scripting when it comes to everything. Scripting when the people call for the first time. Scripting when they show up. Scripting when they're seen by the doctor, although it's not as much of a scripting approach there, but it is when the person comes in to do the sale. The doctor should not be the one doing the sale. All right. So that's the first factor is how good is your sales conversion approach. The second one is exposure 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 when you look at regenerative medicine it's very similar to advertising for say a weight loss center it's not a have to have it kind of approach so what that means is that the person may need exposure to your brand 5 10 13 times all right google did a study a year ago that showed that no longer was it the 3 to 5 times that zig ziglar said would need to happen for them to become um, a to make the sale become a patient but it's more because of the huge amount of advertisements you get hit with on a daily basis CBS did a study that showed that the average person through their daily existence gets hit with 5,000 advertisements so it may be that yours just gets lost in the equation but if they see it over and over and over again so what we focus on at R3 stem cell marketing is things like programmatic advertising retargeting um, Video marketing, email marketing is very, very effective because you can offer them a magnet of some kind of an education and then hit them with um, email marketing on a regular basis. And it might be the fifth, sixth email they get where they say, okay, I'm going to find out what this is all about. All right. So that's the second factor is that you may need to hit them with a repeat exposure of your brand to get them to schedule. And it will pay off. Okay. Visit us online today at stemcellmarketing.com. And then call us at 844-GET-STEM. Be happy to help you do a free consultation with you. I've written two books now on healthcare online marketing. I really know the field. I've been doing this for 10 years. Thank you very much.